I want to show you something. Come with me. I'm John Cohn, IBM fellow. I'm here in the Lower East Side. You know, I love walking these streets because you never know what's going to be behind one of these old boarded up storefronts. You know, there might be the next huge startup or a maker lab or some sort of crazy inventor stuff. It's really never know. I mean, like take this one. Let's see what we got back here. That looks like fun. It's called the Play Machine, and it's an interactive piece of art. That's a, a new interface we built with our IBM Tumblr page, our IBM Blur. We we're trying to figure out, you know, how could we make the analytics from that into something that would be fun and, and educational. When when somebody engages with IBM Blur, if you do a like, it will actually drop a kernel of that popcorn and pop it. If you share one of these links, it'll spin the globe and shine a laser on where you are. China, Mexico, uh, Europe. Every time somebody reblogs, this razor sharp axe thing will come up and start chopping the wood. You talk about a computer getting hacked, it's hacking. And if you do a follow, it'll actually find your ID and print it out on one of these crazy things. And it runs 24 hours a day, and all morning it's been just like popping and snapping and stuff. The interesting thing is that camera right there is watching it. Hello, Internet! You know, like 3 o'clock in the morning, this stuff is still chiming around. If you actually look back here, it's all these small mobile computers. What we were trying to do here is we we're trying to figure out how could we interpret social media data in kind of a fun and cool way using some of our IBM technology. This is running on our software cloud using MQ Lite and our Node-RED Internet of Things language. And it's just very cool the way that these all compose together. The way that we tune this technology is we, we continuously try things, we refine it, we play with it. What I love about this kind of Internet of Things and physical computing, it's the ultimate expressive medium. Our brains are wired to play. We grow up, we learn as kids to play, and that is what actually fuels creativity. And, and engineering and science is all about creativity. And if you ever lose that part of play, engineering becomes just work. Yeah, I'm glad you guys wondered by.